What's going on guys? Waco from Revolution here at Watches and Wonders 2023 here with my friend Oliver Epstein, the CEO and owner of Kerno Swiss. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. I guess the first thing we should say is uh, we would like to make a short tribute to Gerd Lang's passing. Um, you know, wonderful man, a uh, great friend of, uh, of Oliver's um, who then handed the brand over to him with complete confidence. Um, it's, you know, a real loss of the watch community. Would you agree, sir? Absolutely. Yeah. Very sad about that. Okay. Oliver, um, one of the things that I've loved that you've done with uh, Chrono Swiss is you've injected life and color into the brands as well. Uh, we had this wonderful collaboration. Uh, La was it last year or the beginning of this year? The beginning, beginning of this, of this year. year, yes. Time, Time has moved so quickly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, based on the classic uh, Chrono Swiss Opus, which was the world's first serially produced skeletonized chronograph, automatic chronograph. And so thank you so much for that and this beautiful blue CBD coated uh, titanium. But you've got three lovely uh, novelties to share with us uh, today. Can you please walk us through these? Four. And a surprise. I know we got a surprise uh, one. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Just quickly, so uh, you remember the old Paraiba? Yes. So uh, we now came up with uh, the Paraiba open gear. Right. So it's a 41 millimeter. Yes. We have it with a nice textile strap here, which takes up the colors. Right. It's the similar gear shape that we used on the past one, so it's a color changer. Beautiful. You know, one of the things that I really like about what you've done is you've brought um, some of the core competences in-house. And I love that all, all of the Guilloche and dials are done on premises in Lucerne as well. In fact, I think the guy that does it just walked by. Oh, he's right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's right behind <laughs> us. We'll show, we'll show you that video later. And so what I really love about these watches is you've got, you know, really cool, vibrant, modern design, but with incredible craft as well, right? Well, the idea is, you know, it's uh, modern mechanical. So all right, there you go. It's combining the past, the old machines. Uh, we'll put this one on. With new technologies, new colors, uh, new patterns. I like the strap as well. It's a really cool it's color. Very, very yeah. nice and uh, comfy. And of course, they also. <laughs> we use all these technologies available. Yeah, I like so how you made Luminous signature and yeah. part of uh, a part of your DNA. Yeah. And then, so let's talk about the Jupiter, right? Um, so this was launched last year. It was Launched but, last year, but now in, in steel, right? And now we have it in solid uh, gold case, right? Was well, quite successful and probably one of the most complicated dials we ever did. Yes, uh, I counted about seventy parts that we had to assemble just for the dial. And so you've got a sapphire, uh, like a ray sapphire crystal um, display for the hours. A ray no, sapphire. No, it's not sapphire. It's not sapphire. We, we, we're using TR2. What's so a, what is that? TR2. Yeah, which is a very uh, state-of-the-art modern. Material, right? It's nanotubes. If oh, really? If you look under a, a, a microscope, oh. because what you see the little uh, screws that we put in. Right. If you take a crystal, it would crack. Okay. So we had to find a material where you can really put all these little dots on it and, and put the screws in. As so you have the TR2 for the hour indexes as you've got well the as for the date. For the date, yeah. Which is surrounding this really cool, like um, domed hemisphere domed for hemisphere the moon. For yeah. the for the moon. Yeah. Which, uh, is also uh, well the whole dial. Yeah, it's a, moon it's a copy of the of the Jupiter surface. That's nice. Right now. So how do you create this texture? So we, we have the, the plate right. of, the, of the dial, and then we micro, uh, we laser it. Right. Exactly to the structure of the Jupiter. So it's laser engraved first, using like a, one of these NASA type photographs, exactly. right? Exactly. That's why. Right. And where you find the moon, yeah. that's why you normally have the red dot of the Jupiter. Yeah. And then what we did to apply the color yes. of the Jupiter, we used the 3D nanoprinting technique. Nice, man. So you have a seven layers of nanoprinting for the color, but uh, because it's a 3D printer, you you can uh, you, you keep the valleys and the, and the hills. Oh, so that's how you get that's the, the, the you difference in the, the in levels so the as well. Structure is really the structure that's very cool. from Jupiter. Oh, oh, wow, love that. And uh, let's check out the, uh, that's, the that's Luma. important part. Yeah, oh dude. Oh, I like how the entire date um, indicator is, is luminous as well. And you know, when they do things that small, usually you don't see it, but you see it really well here. It's, it's and it's also the, the, the stars and the moon, uh, everything is laser cut and then uh, inserted into the Wow. And you might not see it, but between the dates, uh, the little uh, balls, these are bearing balls. Right. Real bearing balls that we put in between. So there's, there's a lot of handicraft on the dial. Very nice. Together. Thanks, Oliver. Okay. And let's go to uh, this one, please. Aurora. Very nice uh, lighter green. Right. And uh, also a color changer. It's a, it's a different gear shade than, than the one you see here right. on the Paraiba. So it's much uh, softer. And we 
So it's like a very clean radial guilloche, exactly. but in very fine sort very of uh, pattern. Fine. Which nice. doesn't mean that it's uh, easier to do. Right. Because uh, you see, if there's a, a mistake on the guilloche, you see much quicker here than if you have a Because it's, it's a cleaner pattern exactly. as opposed to a busy uh, pattern, right? Okay. Push too much or, right. or less. Lovely. Uh, but we always choose the, the guilloche based on the, on the watch. This one, we didn't want to make too, too, uh, too lively. And you've got a retrograde 30 seconds indicator here? Yeah. Very nice, I think, to watch. 44 millimeters. Yeah. And it's a, it's a nice uh, green coating. Right. Very cool. It's one of the coatings that also change. Right. Between into white. Beautiful. Thank you. So, and all of I guess, are cool. the, the, now do we have a luminous signature for this one as well? Yeah. All, all of them. them. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. What do you think about the strap? I know you like. I love camo, and I but I like this sort of matte textured camo. It's actually really reminiscent of like the ripstop fabric mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. military mm -hmm. uniforms, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that what exactly. it is, or? Yeah. That's cool. So, it was the idea. We need to get the blue camo strap point for our watch. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I know I tried to steal one from your your uh, manufacturer, but unfortunately, it didn't fit the uh, the the so, lug width. Forty years, Corona Swiss. Right. Our anniversary watch. Uh, hey, it's Adolphus. That's you awesome. I do. I love yeah. the Delphi. So your jump hour uh, retrograde um, minute exactly. watch. Exactly. Yeah. So we took the Delphi from the past, which That's has fantastic. been an iconic piece. Wonderful. And we reinvented it. Okay. So the technique is uh, still the same. The, right. Uh, it's, you have the jumping hour. The retrograde minute. I love minute. that. Yeah. And the analog second. But I like how you brought so much d like dimension to the dial now, right? The idea was to really use our handicraft. Yes, yeah. So please, yeah, so we do a, a first time ever a, gi a curved guilloche. Wow. So you see, it's, it's yeah, curved, I do. It's bombay. Yeah. And then uh, we apply seven layers of uh, crystal clear enamel on top. Beautiful. Crystal so clear enamel, wow. It's okay. really a lot of work that went into the How, how much is this watch? 38,000. And how many pieces we make? So we just make 50 pieces of this one. Amazing. Well, like most of our watches are just uh, limited to 50 pieces. All right. Beautiful. And then tell me a little bit about the um, this movement that we see here. 40 years along, we have a new movement. Right. Manufacture movement, property movement to Chrono Swiss. Yes. Uh, 58 hours of uh, Bazaar de Marche. Right. And uh, this is the base movement that we're also going to be using in the future for the for other models. Fabulous. Oliver, thank you very much, though. Great watch. I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Cheers, guys.